Today we're going to be terminating Deutsch plugs and these are the parts you're going to need. A set of Deutsch plugs, these are half kits, we've got a male and a female, we're going to need the crimping tool for the Deutsch plug and some side cutters or pliers. We've got some wire here as well and today we're using 1.5mm or 14 American wire gauge but you can use somewhere between 1 and 2mm for this kit. We're going to start with the female part of the plug. This is just a two pin plug and we're going to start with the rubber seal and thread the cables through the rubber seal. We want to strip the cable to take up the whole space of the green striped area. Now get the crimper and crimp the connection. Make sure it goes all the way in. Once it is crimped, pull on it to make sure that it is firm and in place. Repeat with the black cable. Crimp the cable again just like you did before. Once they are crimped, poke them into the terminal holes from this way through. You'll feel them click into place Repeat with the second one. Once the cables are clicked in, insert the rubber stop. Ensure you push the rubber gland in all the way so that it is flush with the casing. Our next step is to install the green keeper. This presses in and will make a click sound when it's in. That is one end completed. Now we're going to start with the male end. We're going to start with the rubber stop like we did last time. Thread the cables through the rubber stop. Next we're going to strip back the cable the same length as the green stripe side just like last time. Thread the cable into the male pin. Now we're going to get our crimper and crimp the male end. Make sure it goes all the way in again and crimp. Give it a test pull and move on to the red cable. Our next step is to insert the pins. We want to ensure that our polarity is going to be correct by keeping the red and the red on this end and the black and the black on this end. If we have our wires swapped over like that, our polarity when we plug it in will not be correct. So we need to ensure it is the correct way around before we insert. Plug the plugs in and you'll feel them clip in. Our next step is to install the green keeper. Ensure the flat part is at the bottom and slide it in. Ensure the green keeper is flush with the back plastic wall. Needle nose pliers may help to fit this green keeper as well. Our next step is to install the rubber gland. Push it in firmly so it seats properly. Now that it's seated, we're gonna move on to our last step. Now both ends are terminated, we can test it and ensure that it plugs in correctly. That is one Deutsch connector all completed. 